What's up? It is Tuesday, the second of no, it's Monday. What the fuck? Just watching some YouTube and got my brekkie there. I took my picture, so then I got to mess it up. Organic oats, three servings, big meal. This total meal is about 700 calories or so. Um, we have some kiwi in there and then some flaxseed, so nice uh, bit of healthy fats and then a bit of honey. I like a bit of honey to sweeten it up. What's up? So, Monday the 2nd, about to go to the gym, do a push day. I usually go push pull legs, push pull legs if I can get six days in. Sometimes I don't get six days in, so if I don't, I usually focus on push, which would be like my chest, shoulders, triceps, or legs if I'm doing lower body. Um, and the upper body is my is my weakest or the place that holds the most fat, so I tend to focus on that more so than the back. Um, and the legs. Um, so, gonna make a quick pre workout, quite a controversial topic. I've done a good bit of research on it, and this is what I do. Um, I'm not saying it's the best thing to do or, or anything like that, but this is what I do, this is what works for me, this is what I've looked into. Um, so, let's run through it real quick. So, ingredient number one citrulline malite. I take anywhere between four to six grams on that. I'm gonna skip over the creatine to beta alanine. Take anywhere up to three grams. This is the one that kind of gives you that tingly feeling. These two, uh, the best kind of research I've done on these will be uh, Brandon Campbell has a good bit of YouTube videos on them. So um, after watching those, and he's obviously put in a lot more research than I have, uh, I decided to take these. Creatine is something pretty much everybody um, that I follow um, would, would, would recommend. For some reason, the general public think it's uh, something that you shouldn't take, but um, I think it's proven to uh, enhance your performance in the gym, your energy levels, and your recovery. They're the three main things that um, I, I looked into. BCAAs, I actually, um, this is probably the only one where the, the jury would be out on for me, um, but I, I like to take maybe 10 grams of this before I go to the gym. Caffeine I take only when I'm really, really tired because I do take a lot of caffeine and I've already had a monster energy this morning on a coffee, so that's going back in the press. So these four, a bit of water, I'll actually uh, drink this throughout my workout. So it's kind of a pre-workout and intro workout, I just keep uh, watering it down. Unfortunately, I'm not sponsored by protein, but uh, maybe I'll be sponsored by them someday. Now, yeah, goodbye. You're probably going to be seeing a lot of me uh, riding around on my bike. Um, don't give out to me, I do go very slow and it's just around the states. I'm quite an experienced cyclist, I've been cycling since I was three maybe. Um, it's actually a weird hell day, I woke up thinking it was real sunny, but it's not. Um, so I'm going to go to the gym. I was going to go to Raw because I have a five day pass, but I want to go to Flyfit. I actually like training down here, I know. I know most of the people down here now, and it's good, it's crazy busy, but that's just not a reason to give out really. Um, it's quite busy around here, it's a bank holiday Monday. Let's cycle down a bit further so I can show you where I train. And that's it over there, Flyfit Ranala. Quite one of the smaller, I've trained in three Flyfits, Mackin Street. George Street and this street, and Mackin Street and George Street are amazing gyms. This is probably one of the original ones, and it's quite small, not as much equipment, but you know, it does the job. Um, I go in there and I go ham, and uh, that's all you need to do. To get off the darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too
That's hard work. That's uh, strength training done, and uh, threw in some circuits at the end. So we were just uh, kettlebells, medicine ball slam, kettlebell swing, kettlebell bell clean, and then some speed work on the ropes to play with a squash. So can't just be getting all big. This is a beautiful area, Beechwood Avenue. Got some good footage today. It's a bank holiday, so I don't have to work today. But this will be good for, for next week's blog or, or... Yeah, next week's blog, I suppose. I might try and get one out sooner, but I just wanted to commit to one a week because I don't want to over, over promise and under deliver. Maybe under promise and over deliver, so I might do extra videos. Anyway, I'm going for food. My cousin is over from the UK. He's from London, innit? Um, speaking of accents, actually, I just want to touch on. I seen a comment saying that, that someone told me to stop talking like uh, Conor McGregor. I'll talk however I want. <laughs> I actually like putting on accents, so I've kind of lost track of what my actual accent is. <laughs> but uh, thanks for the comment anyway, and no hard feelings. On I will try. I'll try and minimise the, the, the Conor McGregor type talk. Not really. Um, so that's about it. I'm gonna go for food, meet my cousin, meet my bro, and I will chat to you later. I'm at the uh, Leo stop. You can see the Leo all the way down there. And I just thought while I was here, <coughs> it's a very hot topic on social media around the country at the moment. These fucking jokers who earn 36k to, to move like an Apple type device forward and back. Um, are going on strike causing havoc for the rest of us hard working folk in the country, do you know what I mean? Um, so I just wanted to point out the ridiculousness of that whole situation and I know the blog's only up and running but if this ever reaches a Lewis driver get your act together boys and be grateful for your 36 and a half grand in your four weeks training while the Gardaí and the bankers and the rest of the qualified four year level 8 degree people are starting off on their 23, 24k okay just remember that now see you later <laughs> Really looking forward to this food. I've actually tapered my calories to allow for this. Like, I don't want to let the whole gym lose some weight thing completely take over my life. My cousin's over from England. I don't know when, I can't remember the last time I've seen this guy. So, obviously, we're gonna go out for food. So, I just kept my calories low today. My breakfast, you've seen it, was porridge and whatnot. And uh, then, post workout, I just had a protein shake, a couple of crackers to keep me going. Uh, with a bit of uh, real butter. So I just wanted to highlight this quote here. I really like this because of the colours, but I also like the meaning behind it. And it's something we need to remember. One of the reasons that keep me so happy and positive is my focus on gratitude and my sense of gratitude and being thankful for, for what I have and not focusing on what I don't have. Especially after what I've been through the last couple of years. And, Oh, you know, that's why I wake up every day and I, I count my blessings um, to be here, to be able to train, to be able to go to work, to be able to walk down the street and go for food. All the little things in life, you know? So, that's it. There's the B. B for Bunsen, baby. The best burgers in the city. Uh, undisputed best burgers in the city, can I just say. I've been to Wow Burger, Bunsen Burger. Some people advocate uh, Counter Burger, and I can see that argument. You can you can put a lot of stuff on the burger, but for just pure burgers, cheeseburgers, hamburgers, good quality meat, Bunsen, check it out. Went for the double double. We're in trouble.
number three, May the third. In the morning time, cycling to work. Very grateful I live. A three minute cycle probably. I know that sounds stupid, but I don't have to cycle to work. I can walk, but I actually despise walking. Um, and I need to have the bike in work if I need to nip to anywhere on my break or after work if I need to get into the city or anything like that. Look at that beauty. The Passat CC out in the spa well. Thought I'd bring the guns out for the walk. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that's too McGregor esque. Got my phone roll around, making my five aside uh, debut for my bro and his work friends group. And uh, get the exercise in any way you can. It's nice to take a break from the gym. I haven't played soccer in so long because I think the AstroTurf, AstroTurf fucks you up. Your knees and all that stuff, like your joints. My brother's looking back laughing at me. I think he gets embarrassed in my vlog, but I don't give a fuck anymore. Anyway, so I, I, I said when I got down to a certain weight, I'd do the AstroTurf, so I'm doing it now. Uh, one, two, seven kilo, so hopefully, I don't fuck myself up. Put the guns away now. I'm wearing a Polish jersey. It's a good deal, isn't it? Five euro fifty for sixteen soft touchers. Nikki, Nikki never disappoints. What can I say? I'm absolutely fucking shattered. I underestimated um, how much fitness or how underfit I am. Or Unfit, I think is the correct uh, term for that. I like the L weights and all, but I've only been back since February 7th after after getting up to 143.2 on the 7th, February 7th, first day training February 8th. Um, so I'm absolutely fucked, and, uh, but it was nice to play football. It's different, you know, than going in and lifting weights, but uh, I feel like the weights and the, the Metcons and the hit training has paid its dividends. And I was quick enough, but just very unfit, lots of stitches, lots of, oh, you go out for a second and I'll jump in goals, you know? So, uh, and uh, I just wanted to say, I'm enjoying the blog. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, and for anyone who messaged me or called me, um, a few people commented on, on my Instagram post. Uh, one or two sent me a, a message on Facebook. Um, one or two close friends called me to, to say, well done or whatever. Fucking Lewis is Jesus, it's just blogging. This is dangerous stuff, look. There's the Danny Day, the Danny Day Lewis. Fuck, I need to pay more attention, but anyway. Yeah, I just wanna say, I mean, it means the world to me. Like, I, I, I love doing this, and um, any support I get is greatly appreciated. I know there's certain people, like, it's just in our culture to have a lot of people that will just take the piss and stuff, but I honestly don't care, I just, I really don't care. I, I know what I want, and I know what I want to do, so I'm gonna do it, and I don't care. Like I'm walking around here and there's you know four or five different people around, but and me walking around this bloody, bloody camera, but who gives a shit? <laughs> so uh, day number three, third of May, only 362 more to go, and then I'll have those abs.